Howdy folks, welcome back to the old wood shop. Today we're working on uh, pieces of cherry that I mean to make into uh, risers for candles that measure about three and a half inches in diameter. The previous video I explained kind of how that came about. So we have a five inch piece here. Uh, excuse me, it's five inches in length. It's four and a half in, uh, in depth. Uh, so when we get done turning this, there should be a circle that's a little more than four inches. And then we will, we will use this gauge that I made until it fits over the the piece and we'll uh, put that piece away and uh, get another one out we got seven of them to make and let's see i've made one two three this is the fourth one so we'll have three more pieces to make round and we're going to do all those first and then we'll then we'll uh, uh, we'll start making the the uh, the final if you watch the previous video uh, you know what this is this is what we think it's going to look like so I think we will start here I've done three or four of these so this isn't my first rodeo and the, the first the first few turns Are kind of rough and uh, we're just using pressure to hold this thing in here so you need to be kind of careful that you don't take too deep a cut or this thing is liable to to leave its uh, mounting. I've been trying to use this large uh, and have had oh uh, I wouldn't say I've had good luck, but it kind of helps. Kind of helps to get the that first edge off there, and then once we get that off there, we'll try and see if we can't use the five eighths gouge to uh, uh, get that. And then we've been using when we get down close. We've been using this tool and it's called a skew and uh, uh, it just takes off smaller amounts of material in a relatively controlled way. So I guess we're ready to start here. I'll get my, my helmet out and uh, If we had a uh, a crew that would come in and do some of the cleanup, It'd be nice if they clean up my mask so I could see out of it. Most of the time when I put it on, it's like kind of like a a gray fog. Uh, so you know that's probably not good. Well, let's get started here. Safety glasses are on. I got a kind of a guard for my arm here. Uh, now we're about at 700.
far we're doing all right. Reposition the tool rest a little bit. See if this is tight. Yeah. Close, so I think we're gonna we're gonna take our gouge and and this this is our gauge here and it doesn't fit over there yet but it's getting, getting kind of close. Yeah, what uh, uh, wood turners typically say, they can make anything once, but to make two of a, of a kind uh, often is a problem. So that's what we're running into here. Uh, we want to ensure that all of the pieces are pretty close to being that diameter. So that means that uh, when this is all handmade, that is take a little bit off and check it, take a little bit off and check it. And of course the danger is, is that you can take too much off and you can't put anything back on. So, here we go. Getting close. consuming part of these is that at the end you have to be careful that you don't take off too much.
Not quite, but really, really close. pretty good. That looks pretty good. Just a little off of this end here. Perfect. Well folks, that's, that's the drill. That's the first part. That's the taking the block of wood from a square down into to a, a round. And from here, the next step will be to form the the final profile and that will be very similar because we want to be very careful we don't take off too much but that we take off enough so that we get some differentiation there okay Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great day.